Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Paul Heron. I'll be directing uh, Smitten. I chose Smitten because um, it's a, uh, I wanted to reduce as many of the variables, this being my first, my first uh, endeavor at, at directing, uh, I wanted to choose something that, that lo you know, reduced as many variables as I could, and Smitten really does that. It's a great, it's a great story between two actors, both of whom are females, and uh, so it takes a lot of the, a lot of the uh, elements out of the equation. And Why do you think it's funny? Well, the author is, is, is really, has a very wry and a very unusual sense of humor. And, uh, and it, it, as, as, uh, as I analyzed all of the interactions between the, 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 you know, the scripts and the characters within the scripts and the, wit, the lines from one character to the next, I really began to see a depth of, a depth of complexity Layered on that that sarcasm, that cynicism, which is really funny, and I and I think that uh, you know if it, if we play it correctly, it's gonna it's really gonna be a joy to, to watch. Why did you want to direct with a Highlands Cashers players? Well, uh, <laughs> I think first of all, I think that this is a this is a really wonderful uh, um, opportunity that the Highlands Cashers players are giving to f these four new directors and. Um, you know, and, and I think that uh, it, it's indicative of the um, innovation and the risk share, the risk uh, uh, posture of developing new talent in, in Highlands. And I think that's really, uh, the, uh, HCP deserve, really deserves a lot of credit for that. What, what attracted me to HCP? You know, it, it, Highlands is a really, Highlands, the area is a really small area. And um, it, there's a great, there's a wonderful network of, of the actors and the directors and um, all the people that put this, the uh, sets together and market, uh, you know, market the HCP brand to the community. Um, that's actually a very large network, and to be a part of that is just really rewarding to me.